Chichi Josfin. Now, an autopsy conducted on the body of 24-year-old Grace Wangari revealed that Wangari died of excessive bleeding after a major stab wound on the right buttock. And as Moige William now reports, crucial leads are now emerging regarding the love that turned sour between Wangari and her suspected killer. Wednesday, pathologist Peter Ndwega led the autopsy process on the body of the late Grace Wangari at Nairobi's city mortuary. The process, that took more than 20 minutes, illuminated more light into the death of the mother of two, who was pronounced dead on arrival at Kiambu Hospital, where she had been escorted following an altercation with her said lover. Ndwega revealing that Wangari succumbed due to an excessive bleeding caused by an 11 centimeters deep wound on her right buttock that reached the pulmonary vein caused by an object which wasn't a typical stab wound. The wound uh, is, is not uh, the typical stab wound from a very sharp object, but uh, it is still penetrative. I don't know the force that was there. So the cause of death is literal bleeding from that penetrative stab wood. The latest findings following the autopsy gives crucial leads to the investigators who are currently holding Clinton Mwangi for 14 days following a miscellaneous application at the Bakadara Law Courts to complete investigations into the death of the mother of two. Other than relying on the autopsy report, detectives will dive into the digital activities of the main suspect, who is claimed to be Wangari's boyfriend. On the 21st of November, for instance, on his Facebook wall, Mwangi posted, and I quote, I am not meant for casual love. I was born for soul-consuming love and obsession. It's all or nothing. End of quote. Six days later, on the 27th of November 2023, he jotted on his wall and I quote, Yes, I deserve a spring. I owe nobody nothing. Someday I will let you go and it will not ache. Someday I will realize I deserve more. We are all of us stars and we deserve to twinkle. End of quote. Mwangi's seemingly cryptid messages continued on 2024, where on the 5th of January he posted this year, do not overplay your part, treat people the same way they do you. And three days later, a message stating, and I quote, if that, I love you, ain't coming from your parent or child, then don't believe it. Thank me later. The post-mortem conducted on the body of Grace Wangari giving fresh but also crucial details to investigators working on the investigation to her death. Mwege William, TV 47, City Mochari, Nairobi.